you said that the next big thing, we can also throw that into AI package, the big aha moment might be in the space of robotics. What do you think that would look like? Demis and the Google DeepMind team is very focused on Gemini Robotics, right? So yeah. we are definitely building the underlying models well. So we have a lot of investments there, and I think we are also pretty cutting edge in our uh, research there. So we are definitely driving that direction. We obviously are thinking about applications in robotics. We'll, we'll kind of work seriously. We are partnering with a few companies today. But it's an area I would say stay tuned. We are, you know, we are yet to fully articulate our plans outside. But it's an area we are definitely committed to driving a, a lot of progress. But I think AI ends up driving that massive progress mm -hmm. in robotics. The field has been held back uh, uh, for for a while. I mean, the hardware has made extraordinary uh, progress. Uh, the software had been the challenge, but you know, with AI now and uh, and and the and the generalized models we are building. Uh, you know, we are building these models, getting them to work in the real world in a safe way, in a generalized way, is the frontier we're pushing pretty hard on. Well, it's really nice to see the, the models and the different teams integrated to where all of them are pushing towards one world model that's being built. So from all these different angles, multimodal, you're ultimately trying to get Gemini so the same thing that would make AI mode really effective in answering your questions, which requires a kind of world model, is the same kind of thing that would help a robot be useful in the physical world. So everything is aligned. That That is what makes this moment so unique because running a company, for the first time you can do one investment in a very deep horizontal way. On top of it, you can like drive multiple businesses forward, right? And, and you know, and that's that's effectively what we are doing in Google and Alphabet, right? Yeah, it's all coming together like it was planned ahead of time, but it's not, of course, it's all distributed. I mean, if uh, Gmail and Sheets and all these other incredible services, I can sing Gmail praises for years. I mean, just just revolutionized email, but the moment you start to integrate AI Gemini into Gmail, I mean, that's the other thing. Speaking of productivity multiplier, people complain about email, but that changed everything. Email, like the invention of email changed everything. And it's been ripe. There's been a few folks trying to revolutionize email, some of them on top of Gmail, but that's like ripe for innovation. Not just spam filtering, but <laughs> you, uh, you uh, demoed a really nice demo of- Personalized uh, responses, right? Personalized responses. And it, at first I was like, at first I felt really bad about that. But then I realized that there's nothing wrong to feel bad about because were you, uh, the example you gave is when a friend asks, you know, you went to whatever hiking location, uh, do you have any advice? And they just search us through all your information to give them good advice and then you put the cherry on top, maybe some love or whatever, camaraderie. But it, the informational aspect, the knowledge transfer does for you. I think there'll be important moments, like it should be, imp like today, if you write a card in your own handwriting and send it to someone, that's a special thing. Similarly, there'll be a time, I mean, to, to your friends, maybe your friend wrote and said he's not doing well or something. You know, those are moments you want to save your times mm -hmm. for writing something, reaching out, but, you know, like saying, give me all the details of the trip you took, uh, you know, to me makes a lot of sense for uh, an AI assistant to help you, right? And uh, so I think both are, important, but I think, uh, I think I'm think i excited about that direction. Yeah, I think ultimately it gives more time for us humans to do the things we humans find meaningful. And I think it scares a lot of people because we're gonna have to ask ourselves the hard question of like, what do we find meaningful? And I'm sure there's answers. I mean, it's the old question of the meaning meaning of existence is you, you have to try to figure that out. That might be ultimately uh, parenting or being creative in some domains of art or writing and it challenges to, to, to like, you know, it's a good question of to ask yourself, like, in my life, what is the thing that brings me most joy and fulfillment? And if I'm able to actually focus more time on that, that's really powerful. I think that's the, uh, you know, that's the holy grail. If you get this right, I think it allows more people uh, to find that.